Hey guys, it's Rebecca Versa. I figured today I would play with the Raw Beauty Christie X ColourPop palette and at least one, if not two, Super Shock shadows. That way, if you picked up the palette and or one of the Super Shocks that you can see how they work together um, or how they lay over. She talked about a couple of the shades being like topper shades, so I'm gonna try my best to do a very matte colored look. I think I'm gonna start off with Old Growth first, which is this one up here. And because this doesn't have a mirror, I'm just gonna grab one off the counter. And I don't have anything else done to my face right now. And this is a Farrah 22E Shade and Blend Brush. It's got a little shader brush on one side and a blending brush on the other. I'm gonna color switch it really quick and then I'm gonna grab Puffball, which is this one up here for the other eye. I'll just do two looks. Hey guys, so because the air kicked on, I went ahead and just muted this out. Um, hopefully this is okay. I show you everything that I'm doing and the colors and stuff that I am using. I'm just gonna throw some music in on this part and then there will be talking after this um, segment. Uh, so enjoy the little bit of music.
Okay, so I stopped filming before uh, to finish my face off, but the air, well, not the air, the heat had kicked on. Um, on this eye, I mixed Amanita and Old Growth and put it all over, and then I went out here with the Amanita shade. On this eye, I used Fiddlehead, which is this olive green shade here on the inner part, and then I used Homegrown on the outer edge, but I messed up the outer edge a little bit when I was doing my concealer, so I'll have to fix that when I get to the under eye. I'm gonna go ahead and color switch my brush, and I'm gonna pick up Old Growth again. Why well, I keep holding that palette because I don't have a mirror. And then tapping lightly into Amanita. Okay, so the super shock that I used for my highlighter is Olympic. So I'm gonna grab this on my finger. It's like a champagne color. And now I see what she was talking about with a topper shade. Olympic is kind of like one of those fantasy shades that it looks beautiful in the pan and then you put it on and you're like, where'd it go? I've got a little bit of glitter fallout. But that's really pretty. Now the other shade I'm gonna use on this eye after I do the other side is gonna be Mycelium. I've used it as a highlighter before. It's a little darker than the one that I just used. It has a hint more gold to it. So I'll use that next color switching me brush. I'm going to pick up that first shade puffball and do the same thing that I did on the other side. After, you know, you stab yourself in the eye with the brush. Okay, instead of going into Fiddlehead, I'm going into Homegrown. And I'm doing like light little sweepy motions. Now to pick up Fiddlehead just to tap over that area just a little bit to blend it a little better. Now with my finger again, I'm going into Mycelium. And always use your ring finger when applying product to your eyelid. It's the weakest finger on your hand. It does the least amount of damage to the eye area. It's funny, because this is over a pink shade. That shade looks a lot more like rose tone. And then I'm gonna grab, this is a BH6 brush. It's one of their weird fan brushes. I'm gonna put this, if I can get it to pick up. I'm gonna go into this one that I used on the other side and do the same. Now to finish off with mascara, I know the lip is kind of crazy. I tried to use this Finding Ferdinand shade from, oh, it's Finding Ferdinand is the name of the brand. Very, very is a shade. I use it in the center of my lip and it's like very like fuchsia. And then I tried to go over it with my Butter London um, and Red Berry. It's a very bold lip. It matches this eye though, pretty good. 
All right, mascara. I took the other two off the tray that I had out because they were not so good. I'm trying to find where I put the new one. Hello? There's no mascara on the tray. Oh, I wonder if I tossed that one too because it was not very good. I don't know where it would have went because it's not in here and it's not where I stuck the other two that had died recently. I honestly don't know where it went. So this one's brand new, so I'm not gonna open that one yet, but this is the benefit, they're real. I really like Benefit mascaras. I haven't found one yet that I don't like. That looks a little unblended right there. It's a little better. All right, so I will zoom you in and show you these up close. Now, I think I might turn this into a four looks. I'm not quite sure um, because I have two more of the Super Shocks to use. I have this copper shade, which is Campfire, and then I have Like a Moss, which I used in the first look that I did. Um, so I have both of those to still use in a look with just the palette. Um, so I will probably do another two looks. I don't know if I'll stick it in this one or if I'll just do a separate video for it. I also didn't use the liners. I could have this one here. I probably would have used the brown one and then this one I would have used the green. But alas, one of the liners when I was when I went to use it, it was broken. I think it's the brown one. When I went to do the initial first impression video, no, brown one seems fine. Maybe it's the green one. Oh yeah, it's the green one. It's, uh, it's called Spare Time. And it was broken in several places when I got it. I did send them an email, I haven't heard anything back, asking for a replacement. And I have uh, another order coming from them for something my dad bought me. Um, something I wanted, but he paid for it kind of thing. So I picked it out, but he paid for it. So I would probably use the Spare Time in this eye and the brown one, which is Woodsy in this one. Or another one that I have on my tray that is also really good for this kind of color story is Matte Mulberry from the Endless Silky Eye Pen line from Pixie by Petra. Um, these are cheaper than this one. So, but it's a it's a really pretty like berry color. You can also use the brown one in this eye, but I wanted to bring out the green. If I wanted to bring out the green, I would use the green. So anyways, I'm gonna leave this here. I'll probably just leave this as a separate video and then just record the other two looks with um, that palette and super shock combo uh separately so anyways um i've already started holiday looks i've got like palettes all over the counter in here i've got two done so far out of like 10 i think or 12 that i got tagged to do so anyways look forward to those 14 i'll do 14 days of ho uh, holiday looks hopefully um anyways i will see you guys later bye